my goodness. I hope you all are having a fantastic kickoff to your Saturday. Yes. Tanner is blending in with their background. I'm Didn't even notice. In, He's all white. Yes, he's got his haircut still this morning. Looking yes, good. I, now Rachel, I did put in a pomade today. Okay, trying to style said Looks hair. Looks good. I I don't really know how to use it yet. It right. gets really stuck to your hands. Okay, yeah. which is not really the best. Gotta wash them off a lot. Yeah, but it's like a, a waxy, oily oh. pomade, so hmm. it doesn't really like to like come off. Right. But right. we're slowly getting used to it. Um, people rave about how great pomade is, so that's awesome. Yeah, you just um, gotta get used to it, I guess. Yeah, but good morning, everyone. I hope y'all are having a great Saturday. Today's live stream, we are going over applying permanent vinyl onto these adorable little toddler shoe or little rain boots. It has been so rainy here in East Tennessee um, that you know your uh, little nieces need a little pair of rain boots that are monogrammed. <clears throat> oh gosh, the mornings are awful for me when you're sick. Um, for your rain boots that you're going to love, permanent vinyl goes on really well to these. Super awesome. We're using our scalloped monogram font. So if you guys have not got to see us use this font before, this is going to be a great time for you to catch this video, ask your questions about using scallop monograms and things like that that you are bound to enjoy. So as you guys tune in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. Just because we love you guys and I feel like not everyone got to see our live stream yesterday, we've extended the 20% off sale to you guys um, for National Craft Month. We are not sure exactly what our National Craft Month plans are. Um, we come here almost every day, 365 at this point. So normally people would just do like <clears throat> daily live streams, but me and Rachel's got to think about something just to one up it. Right. Yeah. So, something to step up our game. Yes. So we've got that covered. Um, get something exciting for um, National Craft Month. A lot of people may be talking about bonus collections. And I already have a bonus collection um, ready to go. Yeah. Which we're super excited about this So month. we we, we'll, we we may drop that for National Craft for Month. For sure. We don't know. For you know, just sure. stay tuned. Yes. Um, but yeah, so let us know what you guys are going um, saying in the comments. Rach, what do they got going on today? And that's all charged <clears throat> up, so you can't yeah, plug we'll it. But um, everybody's saying where they're from. Uh, Kentucky, Colorado, Mississippi, Texas, Hello. New Orleans. Uh, Georgia, we've got people from everywhere. Hey guys. Hey yes. Guys. Hey so guys. hello to our wonderful people. And this is a great uh, tutorial if you've never used permanent vinyl. True. Or true. if uh, you're curious to see how well it goes on things like rubber rain boots and things yeah, like that. And, and of course, you can buy these very inexpensively at Walmart in mm -hmm. all different sizes for adults and kids alike. But we just have these little toddler boots because they're so darn cute. And they're perfect for spring. I mean, guys, perfect. can we also talk about something? My favorite time of year, um, it would rank up there. I mean, it's not my favorite. It's my favorite because of what it leads up towards. But Rachel, next weekend, do you know what it is? Next weekend? It's next the week. spring summit. It is the spring summit. Which is amazing. Yes. But what else is it? I don't know. What else is it? I'm so excited to tell you. And maybe if you guys do not know, um, Saturday night, we spring forward. <gasps> do we? Yeah. yeah. What? So no more waking up at 7 and it's still being pitch black outside oh, when I go I'm to the so gym. Excited. I'm so ready for some good yes. daylight. Um, and you know what that means, guys. Spring is almost here when we get to spring forward here um, in America. And um, <clears throat> we also have lots of great things coming up for the spring. And I'm just so ready to have more hours of daylight. Me because too. I need it. I love it being lighter in the mornings. It helps me get up. It makes me yes, feel better about being for up. Sure. Yeah. It's going to be it. awesome. Love so. it. Definitely going to be a motivator for me to be able to get up and get to CrossFit even better, um, which I absolutely love. I hated missing all week this week since I was traveling um, and eating terrible food. But that's a problem we can deal with next week. Right. But okay, I see lots of comments. Anything else we got going on before we jump in and start talking about our monogram font? Now, if you're a year member to MakersGonnaLearn.com, you get access to all of our fonts. And we have fonts as Rachel likes to say, that you all don't even know you want until you have it, um, which I think could be a monogram font. We have a video, we have about two or three videos explaining how to use monograms from Makers Gonna Learn, and this video is gonna be another one added to the um, arsenal. 
And what I love about this font is that it's really easy to work with. I um, thought it would confuse a lot of you that you had to download three fonts, but in the comments of Rachel's amazing video on how to use a monogram font, um, you guys they loved, loved it. Yeah, loved how easy it was, and I think it's because it's really um, <clears throat> easy to like comprehend. It so, is because some of the monogram fonts you have to like really play with them around. Yeah, and this one is just left, right, middle, done. done. You know, it's super easy. But yeah. everybody's saying where they're visiting from. Jody wants to know: Will these hold up in the snow, rain, and weather? And yes, they will. We're using, we're using permanent vinyl. Yes. We love, love, love permanent vinyl, and it holds really well to the yeah. rubber. Like if you guys like can see, I'll, yeah, let me switch it over. Um, and I would, <clears throat> I would say that this will hold up exceptionally well because it is on rubber and yeah. because this permanent vinyl is on rubber I think it is a little more durable to be outside in the weather and get wet and things like that like I'm really trying to like see what would happen yeah of course um, don't soak them in water or this or that but if your little kids go out and you know go splash in the puddles and stuff like that it'll still be completely fine for sure it'll still be fine for all the weather and all that you definitely know? definitely definitely um so real quick real quick we have 80 plus fonts right now at makersgonnalearn.com. If you guys have not got to see any of those and you're considering a membership, um, we have, for once you become a member, this awesome guide that kind of walks you through all of our fonts. Um, you can kind of get inspired and see what type of fonts we have. Now we still do have that 20% off offer. So if you need to get your year membership, if you're a monthly member and you're like, I'm ready to get fonts, fonts are only available to yearly members. Um, so you do want to grab that um, your membership so you're able to enjoy all that the membership has to offer in addition to oh fishy wishy hey, I've got it. Tanner I'm, wants to use <clears throat> fishy wishy so bad. I'm planning a project for this and I don't know what it is but maybe we'll do that as a little fun live stream next week for uh, um, National Craft Month. Yeah. But anyway lots of great fonts. I love Muffin. New Wands amazing. Um, <clears throat> new I beauty. love Ray Dunn inspired. So That one's cute. great. Lots of I love Quirky Core. Um, that one's fun too. Um, Shake and Bacon's adorable. Spontaneous is a go-to. OG. Um, Towering Teddy's fun. Tater Tots is cute too. Yeah. So then we have our monograms, our winter monograms. So if you guys are doing any last minute um, winter projects, we have this really fun winter monogram. We write your story. And then for some reason, the monogram we're using today is not on mine because it's not the most up to date. But we're using the scalloped monogram font. So if you're a year member, go download the scalloped monogram font from the font dashboard. I want to say it's towards the very bottom of... It is <clears> at the <throat> very bottom. Mm -hmm. Very, very bottom of the list, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so we've already downloaded that onto our iPad. And we're just going to jump into actually using the font. So if you have any questions on downloading fonts to your computer, downloading fonts to your iPad, we already have videos for that. Um, so no big deal about, you know, rushing or worrying about that right now, but let's talk more about using the monogram font. And then if you cannot find those videos either on the channel or on the dashboard to make going to learn fonts, um, be sure to reach out to us and we'll get you connected. There's an email right down below that you can copy and paste and send us a quick note. We do have customer service working, um, sat Saturday to Saturday, um, every day, seven days a week. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. We love have uh, love having that. We missed. Um, we had to switch out uh, CRs or customer service reps. Um, so our customer care team is back up on the weekends, which is great. So that also means if you have any issues over the weekends, we can get you covered quicker. And um, it's nice to know if you use the 20% off offer right down below. As soon as you purchase your membership, you get redirected to create your account. So you get instant access to your membership, which is amazing, um, so that you can start crafting. We don't want to hold you back from creating all the font projects. If you're a year member, getting $150 worth of bonus classes, um, over 700 die cutting files, so much to offer. And if you love your die cutting machine, you're bound to enjoy the membership. But anyway, let's jump into Yeah, and I do have space. one question before. Ask away. And Jody says, Hey Jody. Um, I have a summit question. Oh, great. Are the classes geared more towards experienced Cricut users or can newbies like me benefit and not be too overwhelmed? Yes. Okay. So I actually, I think this could be the same member that wrote a little message in the group. Jody and Cody is right. I, I believe so. Let me see. I just replied. Yes. Jody Cody. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> 
So here we go. Jody off, uh, posted one hour ago in the membership group. Jody, I replied 36 minutes ago. <clears throat> and I have, here, I'm just going to read you my reply because I think it's the same. Um, it's great for beginners. Here's why. First of all, they're hour long classes. You're not going to get this type of training on any other YouTube video that is an hour long geared towards the exact project, which is really crucial. Okay. Second of all, you get these classes forever. So if you are feeling overwhelmed in the middle of the class, have no fear. At, after the class, you can rewatch it, you can pause it, you can ask questions, which is my third note. Um, we answer all of your questions. If you have a ticket to the summit and you have a question about someone's class, my class, Rachel's class, whoever's class, we're going to answer that for you and give you the best um, customer service possible because we want you guys to be as happy as possible. So we'll have a live stream on the summit in the membership group later today. I'm talking a lot about the summit details if you all have other questions. Yeah. But it's great for beginners. Definitely. Um, and it really pushes that. beginners out of their comfort zone too because yeah. there's so many classes yes. that newbies would enjoy learning, you know, so, certain skills about. Courtney's totally. teaching awesome sewing classes if you're not into that. We just have so many awesome, diverse <clears throat> uh, classes that any newbie or experienced yes. cricketer would love to dive into and get their feet wet in those tutorials. Exactly. So if you already have a ticket to the summit, congratulations. We're super excited to host you. Um, and if you still need to get that ticket, Jody, head over to your dashboard to activate the button that's going to save you $50 on registration. Typically, uh, if you're not a member, the ticket to the summit is $197. And if you are a member, you get to save $50 on that registration, bringing it down to like 147 or something. So super, super awesome. Yeah. We are really excited to jump into today's project. Any last questions before we jump into it? No, we're good. Awesome. Let's do this. So guys, we are in Cricut Design Space. This would be the same for your iPad as it would be IO, um, your desktop. We're going to click on text. And we're going to let that load for a second. Do, 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 do. Be sure to work in system fonts or all fonts. Make sure you're just not in the Cricut fonts because you would be searching for fonts that you did not have, which yes. would be um, very annoying. And if you d just <clears throat> downloaded a font, kill the Cricut app and then re-upload it because you're, you know, we need to let your Cricut app know that you have downloaded a new yes, font. Yes, that's a great note, Rachel. And if you are doing this on your desktop, you must close your web browser. So Google Chrome, after you download a new font, quit Google Chrome. Sometimes Google Chrome is really good about refreshing without closing. Um, which is great, but if you, again, can't see that font and you downloaded it on the same browser, things like that, please close it, reopen it, things like that. So yeah. anyway, we're going to start with our left side. So when you download our Scallop Monogram font, in that zip file, you're going to find three different fonts. You're going to have a Scallop Monogram Center, Scallop Monogram Left, and Scallop Monogram Right. Download all three of those fonts. Again, downloading a font is a one you press install, super easy, super fun. Um, so we're just going to click on scallop monogram left. And we're going to use for our first name is the S. So we're going to take that <clears throat> and just size that up here so that we can see that. Then we're going to click on text. And we're going to click see what happens if I start searching scalloped under Cricut. But if we click system, we can see our fonts. So now we're going to do scallop monogram center. And we're working with and we're going to size that up and we're going to talk about this here in a second um, system and we're going to do right and then our last one is R so anyway um, what I like to do at this point is that all three of these are different sizes so if clearly you edit, <laughs> yeah clearly it's a great example clearly um, we know that we are probably wanting like um, each letter, or actually not going to do that. Um, what I would like to do is just to manually line these up. I was going to put them at the size I wanted, but then it would make it like way bigger. I had a little morning um, brain fart. But what's really nice is that Smart Guides, if you're using the iPad, helps you line these up really well. So like notice that it kind of like snaps into place. Yeah, and if you are um, uploading these um, <clears throat> just like the for the very first time, if you wanted to leave them at this size that you just like, if Tanner would to tap the K and then tap over and make another text box, after you're done, they're all the same size. Yes. So if you just like scoot them to each side, then they're still the same size, so you don't have to worry about that. 
but uh, Tanner made them each bigger, so he's just going to take a little extra step to size yeah, them perfectly. Just, but just in case you guys made a mistake and you all want to be able to perfectly align these back. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> again, the scallop font is pretty easy to line up, as you see here. Um, you know, that's good to go. What happens if you look at your layers panel right now is that you have three different layers. So without doing anything else, we just press make it. As you can see here, this is not what we just designed. Annoying. Annoying. No one wants to be able to have to deal with that. Let's go back to that canvas. Here's the step that we need to take. We need to select all three layers. You'll know all three layers are selected when that box is around it, and these are grayed out. We're going to select Actions, and we're just going to press Weld. I like to weld our monograms because you can save this project after, you know, if you're doing your monogram, you can save this project and just go back to it um, when you need your, your own, you put your name and scallop monogram when you save it to Cricut so that you have all of these letters already taken care of and it's really, really awesome. <clears throat> so if we go to click make it now, um, you can see it's just how we designed it in Cricut. Isn't that Perfect. magical, guys? Beautiful. Super magical. But now we need to go ahead and size it. So we just need this to be about 2.5 inches wide. And it's going to be about, it's a 2.5 by 2.4. Um, and that's going to fit perfectly right here on our little rain boot like we so see here. So cute. And so it's going to be awesome. So what questions do we have? What uh, other questions see. do we got Sharon going on? says, what is the last day to join the summit? So the last day to join the summit would probably be Friday, um, the day before the summit. That's cutting it close. The sooner you grab your ticket would be the better so that we get you on the list. We'd be getting you all the information you need um, because if you're, grabbing a ticket the day it starts um that would be a little scrambling for the team and there's not unlimited seats that's true you know um there's about like 15 to 20 seats left um, so if you want that you better get that. that's true that's true um we do have like a certain amount of seats that we're like okay this is how many people we're hosting um so that's great but we made it a pretty um larger number like i said like 15 to 20 seats left um, for the summit as a whole. Um, I think we'll end up with around 250 awesome attendees for the summit, which is awesome. We love that. Um, and I feel like uh, we haven't promoted it too much, but it's been like chattered about. Like, yeah, and <clears throat> lots of people have been asking questions yeah, and getting yeah. information and things like that. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are bound to enjoy it. It's gonna just be a lot of creating. So if you're a member and you wanna join, um, be sure to Click the link on your dashboard to activate that coupon um, so you get your ticket for 147 rather than 197 such a great savings and thank you guys for being a member yes and we have a lot of new members viewing this today Yay! Uh, watching so that's great to, to you know to let them know that if they yeah. want a ticket so they next, can get 50 dollars off yes it's next weekend guys it's two days of creating um saturday march 10th or excuse me saturday march 9th and sunday march 10th um, next weekend it's 10 classes over the course of two days. You get unlimited access to the HD recordings of each class. It is a summit geared towards all die cutting enthusiasts, whether a beginner or advanced crafter, you're bound to enjoy and have fun crafting with us. Um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and back into design space where we'll click make it and we're gonna click replace. This looks much better than before. We're gonna press continue. And if there's anyone out there just absorbing in all of this information, be sure to let us know what you think of today's video. Let us know what you've got going on. Um, be sure to continue chatting in the chat box. We want to know um, <clears throat> all about you guys. Yeah, let know. us know what you're doing today. Are you getting crafty today? Are you going to be uh, making any projects today? Let us know what you're up to. Yeah, I'm wondering if permanent vinyl has its own setting. I don't think it does. Tiffany said, no, it does not. Yeah, I didn't Tiffany so. said, I just tried signing up using the link and it didn't allow payment and said to contact the merchant. <clears throat> um, that's interesting. I am not sure. Maybe try again? Yeah, try one more time and then um, send us an email and with a screenshot of that, uh, if you could, that would be awesome. So anyway, um, we're going to select vinyl because we're using permanent vinyl today. We didn't need to uh, do anything funky to mirror or anything like that. <clears throat> now we get to load our materials in. And remember guys, if you're wanting to use fast mode, you must load your material in before pressing, um, turning on fast mode. So fast mode's at step three. 
And then once you're good to go, press that flashing cricket button. Okay. <clears throat> awesome, awesome, awesome. Anywho, um, what is everyone saying in the comments? Uh, they're wondering what type of vinyl we're using. Yeah, permanent vinyl. Good, good stuff. Yeah, there's there's different types of more heavy duty. There's like premium outdoor. There's uh, different things like that. But we're today we're just using a uh, permanent vinyl. Yes, we love permanent vinyl. It's really great. Outdoor vinyl is great too. Um, they're all pretty pretty good. Um, but permanent is such a great go-to. Oh, I'm gonna forget to give you something. Man. Oh no, your alcohol. Yes, our rubbing alcohol. Okay, so we're gonna unload this. Thank you. Um, and then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna quickly weed this out. So we're gonna save some vinyl. We're just go cut this out, just like so, and peel up all this excess. Melissa Garcia says. And as you can see, if you all ever had questions about it, um, it has it on the back, which is really helpful. Um, for us when we're working with scraps. Hey, Melissa, good morning, good morning, good morning. She says, on my way to Hobby Lobby to get baseball t-shirts, going to use the Disney file to make shirts for my niece and nephew because they're going to Disney. Woohoo! Yes, if you guys are considering joining, we have an awesome um, Disney curated collection, which I love, Disney inspired. Um, so much fun. Melissa, I hope you post pictures in the group because I'm dying to see what you make with them. Your, the baseball tees are such a great idea. Um, for Disney shirts. I love that. And people are wondering, Tanner, did we seal the vinyl after we put it on the boot? Um, no. So <clears throat> it's very interesting to me, the conversations about sealing vinyl. Um, I mean, I totally understand it, you know. Well, vinyl is one of those things that likes to peel up on you. But it's putting sealer on, in my opinion, is it really going to seal a sticker down? And when I say a sticker, I'm talking about vinyl, um, because it may help the edges and it may help to a degree, but if your vinyl is coming up, the sealer isn't really going to help it. It help the middle part. It may help the edges, but it's not going to help overall, if that makes sense. Like you could have like some odd looks. Um, and in my experience using sealers on vinyl, um, it's not too, there's not too much there. So no, there's no sealer required um, using permanent vinyl. Especially on a rubber boot like we're using yeah, today. And this is permanent vinyl. And, you know, really it can say permanent vinyl and this and that. Nothing in the world is going to be permanent like that. It's, That's true. I mean, it's going to come off after a while, probably well after your little niece uh, grows out of these boots true. is when it'll fall off. But, um, no, there's no need to seal it or anything. Yeah, like true. That. Okay, so now we're going to use our handy dandy rubbing alcohol um, just to clean off our little boot. Now, remember, if you're having this set, you're going to make sure that here's where we put the first one. So we're going to flip that over and use this side over here. Be sure not to put it like on this side. But anyway, just be careful about that. Um, we're going to take our little rubbing alcohol. And where do we get the rubber boots, Tanner? Uh, Walmart. Yes, they're very inexpensive at Walmart. They come in all different colors and sizes. I'm sure uh, closer to springtime, they'll come in even more of a diverse group of colors and things like that. Right. Um, but there were a few while we were there today. We were not there today. I mean, if you, I, I mean, oh, 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 I get what you're saying. If you I was go like, like right now, yeah, 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 I understand, I understand. Year. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it just was like I was like, what? <laughs> just like hearing that as I was cleaning, I was like, wow, we're not. And there this today. is a good question, Tanner. Oh, I what's the question? I never even thought about it. What's but, the question? Oh, where'd it go? Oh no. Oh, uh, we have a viewer that says rubbing alcohol is not available in the UK. Oh. What else can you use? Ooh, I have no idea. I mean, I know that anything <clears throat> with a lot of rubbing alcohol in it, so like nail polish remover, acetone, things like that. Um, I'm trying to think of like a cooking, something with cooking that yeah, you could use. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I mean, you have cleaning products, of course. So yeah. You could use I, some cleaning products, a little Clorox Just wipe. anything, just any like type of wipe to get any yeah. residue off just so right. that it's a clean surface. Like that's really what yeah, it's and doing. And alcohol gets grease off of things really that's well. True. Like from our fingers and stuff. Yeah. So anything with like a high alcohol content. Definitely. Okay. So now we're just going to position this down after, you know, we dried our rubbing alcohol. Just go position that down. And with the rubber, you just kind of want to use your 
finger. But it's super forgiving. It's very yeah. forgiving. Like we can peel that up and everything. Um, so you just want to make sure you go over it with your finger. I'm doing one finger inside the boot, one finger outside the boot. Um, just making sure that the vinyl is sticking. And then you can kind of just peel back. Now, and uh, Tanner, where do we get our alcohol bottle? Oh my gosh, Rachel got this at the Dollar Tree and she put our rubbing alcohol in it. So it's just like one little one little drop and you're good. A little pump, it's great. And it's fantastic to save it, your rubbing alcohol. Yeah, yeah, we, we were wasting a, a quite a bit of it. Yeah. And everyone's loving your haircut, Tanner. Yay, thanks guys. Okay, woohoo. All right, so that is down. How easy was that? And if you see any like additional residue, um, you can just rub it off. Um, yeah, on that on that boot, tape. it just comes right off. Yeah, if, it if comes anything. right off. I mean, it's rubber, guys. So like, you know how forgiving and easy to, to clean rubber is. So, but it's just like a few spots. Um, if I had remembered during the lab, I would have. Uh, made the transfer table a little bit smaller, but it's totally fine. So look at our little set of boots. So How cute. adorable. We I love want them. These. I wish I could fit in them. Rachel, honey. I know. Listen. You missed that a few sizes I'm ago. I'm <laughs> uh, But yeah, so it's that easy to make your own boots with the Cricut, make a little monogram. How easy was it to use our monogram font if you're a yearly member? Um, it was super easy. So you guys are bound to enjoy all of that. But let me share with you guys exactly how to join. If you have questions, we can talk all about it. And we'll talk about the summit too. Yeah, and let us know if you're first time viewers, if you're yes. interested in looking around for a great Cricut membership. Definitely. So we're here to help um, keep you guys inspired to craft. Oh my gosh, Caroline is here. Hey, Caroline. Google, um, oh, okay. Surgical Sprit. It, yes. This is such a great community, Caroline. You're amazing. Um, okay, so we're going to open up this right here. Um, the first link down below with our little um, confetti is where you're going to activate the 20% off. This is a special offer for you guys only. You click that link, you click open, um, you can follow along the same thing on your desktop, um, open in a new tab so you can continue to watch us. But you want to join for 20% off special. How awesome is that? Scroll on down. If you know you want a year membership to get the best economical value, click this button. Um, you can scroll down to learn more about the membership. But here is the breakdown of our pricing. Without 20%, this is normally $15.99 a month billed annually. This is normally $19.99 a month. And our six month subscription is normally $17.99 a month. So you get one month free, um, getting this discount compared to this or you know regular price. But what happens here is with the year membership, you're getting 20% off. So this is normally $15.99 a month billed annually. Um, so you're getting three months free and 20% off, which and is awesome. And you get grandfathered into that price. Yes, so you get your, your grandfathered in, you get the commercial price, um, you get commercial license to use our artwork, which is awesome. We had a Miss Pam in the um, chat box yesterday talking about how she had a $1,500 order um, for a local school. Yeah, she sold $1,500 worth of shirts by, you know, she was using some of our fonts for the sports yes. teams and she sold $1,500 worth of Amazing. stuff. Amazing. She sold a huge order to the a awesome. school, got to use some of our fonts, which is awesome. Cannot wait to see photos of that. So if you want that year um, to get grandfathered in and all the bonuses, click right here. It's going to send you to PayPal and you can choose to pay with a credit or debit card. Um, by clicking the gray button or clicking the yellow button and just logging into your PayPal account if you're already an existing member. Um, this is a reoccurring payment, so PayPal does want you to have an account so that you can monitor, monitor your subscription and things like that. Um, if you have questions, um, it's a great deal. So be sure to take advantage of that. And then real quick, if you guys are um, considering coming to the summit, um, be sure to go to your dashboard right here, um, digital cut files. This is 700 plus cut files, 80 plus fonts. This third button right here, click that simple button and you're going to log in and just click register today. Um, you can scroll, see some of our instructors. We haven't updated this to see our whole list of instructors. I need to do that, but man, have I been busy. Um, so member only pricing, you'll want to click one of the pink buttons, register and sign up today. Um, your ticket is your PayPal confirmation button. It is 147. You can um, check pay with a credit or debit card as a guest, or you can pay with your PayPal account. Now, a quick note, if you are like me and your PayPal account email is different than your main email, 
Rachel. Yes. When you get your emails from us about the summit, guess what email they get sent to? Your PayPal email. Your PayPal email. We do not magically know the best email for you. If you, whatever PayPal, whatever email you use to purchase your ticket, that is all the information we get, unfortunately. So please, please, please check those emails. Yes. Um, we have sent out the supply list um, and things like that. So you guys are, should be all set. If you have any questions, send our customer service team a little note. They are working all weekend along and they'll be here um, all week and then all next weekend as well, every weekend. Um, so it's super, super fun. Yep. We cannot wait to get you guys signed up if you're a brand newbie. Um, coming to the cricket community. I think our membership is there to help so many. I didn't even talk about it this live stream, but if you really need another selling point, we have our amazing cricket printable guide that is like tested and uh, people swear by these. They love being able to have these quick resources. If you've not seen this, um, this is our brand new guide that launched last month. We have people wanting <clears throat> to just buy this. We do. And the thing is you have to join the membership to get this because our team works super hard. But the thing is, we work super hard for our members. It's the number one way to support everything we do here is getting a membership, no matter if it's a monthly, six month, yearly membership. We love all of our members. Um, clearly the uh, year membership has the best value, um, but it pays for itself. So lots of terminology. We love this, our blade charts, um, so much fun, so much good stuff. So uh, yeah, it's awesome. Term glossary, explaining what different words mean. Um, lots of great things. Cheat sheets for print and cut. Yeah, Iron which on. mat you should use. Vinyl. Easy press temperature sheet charts. I mean, we have everything you need. The cutting mats Rachel just mentioned. Um, so super fun. We love that. And that's only available to members, guys. So be sure to consider membership today. It's Saturday. You guys probably have some time to get crafty. Um, you may want to learn some new things with your machine. And the membership is definitely there to help guide you through that process. So, so much fun. We cannot wait to share with you everything we've got going on this year. April is going to be an action-packed month for the company. Um, we've been talking about it this month. I'm celebrating nine years here on the platform, which is awesome. Um, so we're super excited. So are there any other questions? There are some questions. Uh, George, Georgiana, Georgina hey. says, Hi Tanner, what do you think is the best printable iron-on product? Y'all, and I don't say y'all often, I have to really think about it. Um, Rachel has the most detailed video coming out about printable iron-on. Y'all are going to be shook. You're going to be just, taken just back. Just get ready. I, she ha put in a request to order over $100 worth of printable iron on. For you guys. For you guys. I wanted to tell you, I wanted to test so many different brands on a ton of different shirts. I wanted to do right things, wrong things, and really just tell you all what is the 100% best iron on with the prices and yeah. with the quantity you get. Yeah. So that's fun. Okay, so that's coming out soon. Uh, Jody says, when you save fonts and designs, do you save it to iCloud? Or to Cricut Cloud? Yes, when you save a Cricut Design Space project, like the fonts, um, like I was talking about saving the monogram, you save it to your Cricut account, but remember, you're not able to access it on a different device without having that font downloaded as well, to my knowledge. Um, you just can't do that because it's pulling from the device, not Cricut. And the last one we have is I'm using a laptop and I'm wanting to put everything on a desktop. She's a yearly member and she okay. says, how do I go about doing that? So you're going to log on to your account via your desktop and be able to download just like you would to your laptop. That's a great question though. Some people ask like, oh, can I only download a font once like on one device? No, like you see me using it on my iPad, my phone, my desktop, my laptop. Everything. Use it on everything, guys. Yeah. Like if you're a member, is you can use it. Fun note, if you um, do only active memberships get to enjoy the free commercial use license, we will send you a cease and desist letter if you are using our artwork on Etsy and you oh, don't yes. have a membership. Don't be doing Things that. like that um, we take pretty seriously. Yeah, and Tanner, we have like comments flooding in after you were talking about your guide that they all love Yay! the guide. So yes. if you're a brand new viewer and you're like, Ugh, I'm on the edge about it, we have over 2,000 amazing members here in our community that are like-minded, just like you guys that love machines. Yes, and closer have, to 2,500. Like we so have true. so many so amazing many members mem in the members. Facebook group and enjoying everything we have to offer. And just saying most of them that start out as monthly are already yearly because they saw what they were missing and they they know how our other members enjoy it so much. Yeah. So we're all just getting crafty. Yeah, about 70% of our membership is yearly members just because of all the bonuses and things like that. So we have a small percentage, about 30% or so that are monthly. So that's just like a fun ratio on that. 
um, and everyone gets the value out of the yearly membership. Yes, um, the yearly so membership so has every resource we have to give. Exactly. It's got everything we got in it. The bread and butter. So it is. Hope you guys have so much fun crafting this weekend. If you have any questions, be sure to let us know. Um, we are super excited to hang out with you guys and we'll be look, looking forward to getting crafty with you all very, very soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.